All right, welcome to the Human Anatomy and Physiology Labs at Ohio University. I'm Professor Klein. I'm Kyle Corbett. And we're gonna tag team the eye model today. So what do you say, you ready to start? I'm ready. All right, let's start with the eye structures. And Kyle's currently in bios 1310, so he did this last semester. We'll see if he remembers some of these structures. Uh, first off, what would you call this glass covering over the exterior of the eye? Pupil? Iris? Ah, uh, <laughs> strike now. one, strike one. This is actually the cornea. So Thank you guys you, notice, Professor Klein. You notice this here, it'll come back to you. Yeah, it'll yeah, come yeah. back to you slowly here. A little rusty. Yeah, a little rusty. Uh, but this is the cornea. Uh, the pupil would be the hole where the light would travel through. So that black hole is the pupil. And the iris, which you also guessed incorrectly, that's the colored part of the eye that would surround it, shown here in white. So, sclera, pupil is the hole, and the iris is the white part or colored in humans uh, right there. Furthermore, we've got a lot of extraocular muscles that surround the eyeball. What do you think the extraocular muscles do in the eyeball? I'm gonna say they move the eye around. You'd be correct. That's exactly what they do. There's six of them. We just call them the extraocular muscles. They move your eyeball left, right, up, down, sideways, whatever. That's these. But they're attached to the white part, which is called the sclera. The sclera is this outer, tougher covering. But let's jump into the inside. Whoa, 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 Professor Klein, you're, you're forgetting a very key important part on the outside of the eye. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, what? This, the lacrimal oh. gland. You can't forget about the lacrimal gland. The lacrimal gland, tell them about the lacrimal gland. Let me tell you what the lacrimal gland is. Do you want the probe? Does. I would love the probe. All oh, right, take the probe. The lacrimal gland is gonna secrete tears around the eye. It's actually gonna be released from the lacrimal duct right here. And here, we've got the lacrimal bone. This is very important, and Professor Klein almost left this out. And I would hate for a video to go undone without the lacrimal gland. Well, thank you for reminding our viewers of the lacrimal gland. But now we're ready to jump inside. All right, let's so get let's into do it. it now here. And the first thing that we notice is when we take it apart, it holds its shape. And this here, it represents the posterior chamber and the gel-like substance that fills up the posterior chamber. That's called the vitreous humor. So the vitreous humor uh, technically would be inside here. So if we look down in here, this entire area is the posterior chamber filled up with that vitreous humor. Furthermore, if we take off this, we can see the lens. Lens is durable. like a glass pearl. And it's gonna reflect light going through your eyeball back to what's called the retina. This is the retina back in the posterior part of the eyeball with the optic disc. See this hole? This hole has the optic nerve which leaves through that hole. Now, on the retina, we got photoreceptors, right? We got rods, we got cones. Those are gonna pick up the light. But if there's no retina, there's no photoreceptors on that spot, which we call the optic disc. Thus, you cannot see anything. It creates a blind spot if light projects to this spot. Couple last things here. And we can look up here. These are the ciliary bodies. Ciliary bodies via the suspensory ligaments, the white things here, will connect to this lens. And when these contract, these are muscles, they change the shape of this. The final defining piece is the aura serrata, which is a serrated edge-like dividing line between the ciliary bodies and the retina. And I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? I don't know, Professor Klein. Are you forgetting something again? Wait a minute. 
If there's a posterior chamber, there's got to be an, an anterior, anterior chamber, chamber, right? Exactly. So, what we've got up here is the anterior chamber, and that's going to house the aqueous humor or the watery like substance that is in the eyeball. That's what I was forgetting. I'm glad you remembered that, Professor Klein. That completes your eyeball model. Check the ear video and the other special sense videos for some more information. Hit up the next one.